Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for your one-stop shop of buying or selling coins and solo grinding services. Use code ZERK at checkout for 10% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today they literally just dropped the new primetime performers right after I just uploaded my video going over my lineup updates. So make sure you guys go and check that video out but I am going to be doing a 50,000 subscriber Q&A so if you guys have any questions for the Q&A log on to Twitter and use hashtag Zerk50k. That's all you got to do to make sure that I see your question and I'll have that Q&A out within a couple of days after we hit 50k. So if you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you guys hit that sub button so we can get that 50,000 subscribers before New Year's. That's the goal. I think we can do it. So let's take a look here. We have Jordan Howard and Casey Hayward. I actually didn't think this was Casey Hayward because I don't remember him wearing number 23. Or actually, maybe that is number 29. It just looked like 23 to me from uh, a different angle. But Jordan Howard, take a look at his stats. Uh, comparing it to Zeke, who literally just came out. 93 speed compared to 91. 92 acceleration, 95 agility, 98 agility, 95 carry, 93 carry. I mean, Howard's definitely got him beaten trucking and carrying by two. Besides that, though, I mean, not much else. Uh, elusiveness does go to Zeke. Break tackle actually goes to Zeke as well. Strength goes to Jordan Howard by three. Catching, honestly, is not bad. I mean, it's only three less than Zeke, so it's still pretty good. Uh, he does have a power up, so you can power him up. 88 stiff arm, 88 spin move, 89 juke move. Doesn't have 90 for any of those. That kind of sucks. You're going to have to put like zone run on him or something to get that, which I'm sure you probably want to go with the trucking one uh, with Jordan Howard. So that really does suck. Let's see what his stamina is. I, I may have went past it, actually. Uh, his stamina is an 88. So in my opinion, I'd rather have Blitz Zeke. But if you're a Bears fan, go and pick up Jordan Howard. I mean, he's got some great trucking, like a goal line back would be very nice. Uh, like third and one, third and two, whatever. Howard probably has a better chance of picking up the Zeke, but at the same time, overall, I'd rather have Zeke on the team. And then we do have Casey Hayward, which usually Casey's a little bit on the slower side, and he is actually on the slower. Do I still have his? Oh, I don't. I quick sold it. So I actually don't have his ultimate kickoff card anymore, sadly. But uh, let's compare him to, I guess, Jalen Ramsey. Ramsey is probably like. The one card he's actually better than that have my team. So let's compare him to Slay. I'm sure a lot of you guys have Slay. So 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 89 agility, 85 jumping. Really don't like the jumping on Slay or Casey Hayward, honestly. Uh, 96 player, 94 man, 96 zone, 94 press. I love when it glitches out when I'm trying to show a different card and it says he has tip drill times two. Uh, that's pretty funny. But coverage stat wise, really good. Uh, press is really good. Player X really good. Speed though. Not that good. Speed is kind of questionable on him. Uh, catching him at 86, really good catching. 67 tackle, better tackle than Darius Slay. Block shed, one better. And hit power, stamina is better too. Hit power, not as good. So he doesn't have the hit power. He does have better block shed, and he has way better coverage stats. But that speed is really going to be an issue. Now, if you have the training points to go ahead and put Sprinter on him, and you have John Madden, get him up to 92 speed. That's pretty good, 92 speed with those coverage stats, but, oh, he can also power him up as well. So really, you can get him to 93 speed. He can have 99 zone coverage with 93 speed. You can technically get him to 99 man coverage as well. Okay, that card's actually not too shabby. If only it was just a little bit faster. Uh, right now, it looks like they're going for about a million coins. It probably will go for a good amount, I don't think a mil, uh, but they'll go for a decent amount. Now, we'll be having another video coming out for you guys later today with these packs. I actually played uh, Mud Draft last night. I got six wins, and of course, I do have my weekly rewards as well. But I'm going to go ahead and do this weekly booster pack. I know you guys like to see this pack, even though every single time I do it, I get literally nothing, man. Every single time, let's go ahead and do this. You guys seem to pull absolute fire out of it. I'm going to get myself trash. What is this? Okay, that's the training. I'm a little scared. I have seen people pull some heat out of this. Why do they have to troll me with the blue? Why do you have to troll me with the blue when they know that a blue fat, a blue flash means that it's going to be limited? 
This game, man. All right, so we have Great Iron Packs in the store. I'm going to go ahead and open up these as well. Hopefully, we get ourselves something decent out of these. Great Iron Packs, they can be okay. Uh, or you can spend 28,000 coins and get a pack full of golds. <laughs> Not the best. We're going to open up probably about five of these packs. Uh, the the weekly booster pack really for me is not good, but it seems like every single week they bring out that thing. Somebody tweets me them pulling the limited time poll or getting a full legend Ed Reed or something. It just happens every single week as we get John New Smith out of that. So of course I fall for it myself and I go ahead and buy the pack too because I figured maybe I'll get a little bit of pack look with that too. Now we also have a weekly giveaway player today, which I'll show you guys. I actually showed in my lineup update as man, these packs are being really bad. Uh, it could possibly be looking towards something in the near future, and I'll give you guys my idea as to what it could possibly be. But then again, the last couple weekly giveaway players we've had didn't mean anything. And holy crap, 28k I spent on four packs, and we don't have a single elite. If we don't get one elite out of this pack at all, we better get an elite. Are we really about to get all golds? These packs are terrible. Oh my god, Gridiron Packs are absolutely the worst pack in the game. Do not open Gridiron Packs. But, uh, let's take a look here at the new uh, giveaway player that we actually got. I believe it was an Elite. Yeah, he is. 80 overall, Sean Taylor. So, I have an idea for this. We also did get Barry Sanders uh, for the Harvest Promo, which everyone was pretty positive he was going to be the Harvest Promo Master. They actually switched it up on us was not Barry Sanders, it was Lawrence Taylor, and of course, Walter Payton. But, Sean Taylor, yes, I know that he did die, I believe, like two days ago. Uh, so, that's probably another reason they might have given this card. But, we do have, on the, the 14th of December, guys, we're going to be getting Series 4. Now, what that means is, of course, we're going to be getting probably new level caps, new Ricky Williams levels, and, most importantly... The number one thing that I'm excited for, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are most excited for as well, is actually going to be, which is kind of what I think they're going to do with this Legend Sean Taylor, the Legends Gauntlet. Now, the reason I think they're going to do this is because we had the Rookie Gauntlet, the Veteran Gauntlet, and the Legend Gauntlet. Now, usually, we want to get those players exactly, but that's literally what we got. For the Rookie Gauntlet, the easiest difficulty, it was literally all rookies. For the Veterans, it was all Veterans. So I'm thinking with the Legend Gauntlet, it could be all Legend players. So if the Veteran Gauntlet was, I believe, 88 or uh, 89 overall players, excuse me, the Gauntlet Master for the Legends, or just in general the Legend Gauntlet players, they went up from 87 to 89. I feel like we could possibly be seeing, because they did skip out in Series 3, giving us the veter uh, Legend Gauntlet, maybe they're 93s. Which would be pretty freaking big. If we got to choose two 93 overall legend players, that's huge. So I could see Sean Taylor possibly being in this. He does have a 90 overall base legend and then a 91 powered up, I believe. So I can definitely see Sean Taylor in this. Uh, maybe we could see ourselves getting some other players, 93 overalls. I honestly don't know who else. So let me know down below what other legends you think we could see. But I definitely believe that Sean Taylor... Could definitely be a part of uh, Legend Gauntlet. Now, since those first couple packs were terrible and the Mutt Weekly Booster Pack was absolutely terrible, I'm going to end off the video with a couple of more packs. Let's just do, I guess, a four gold player bundle. Uh, hopefully, this pack is a little bit better because, my God, those other packs were really, really bad. So, let's go ahead and get into this. Maybe we'll actually get an Elite out of these packs as we get all golds. We didn't even get a single Elite out of the Gridiron Pack, sadly. Can I get an Elite? No, nothing yet. Come on, third pack. We're going to get Elite 82 Dion Lewis. Okay, so we actually did get an Elite. Not the best Elite, but at least we got an Elite. And as you guys know, I literally have zero total limited edition or limited time pulls. Actually, I take that back. I do have one. I actually have one limited edition pull. Some people don't think I should count it, but I did, in fact, pull the Lamar Jackson, which, if you guys didn't see that video... That was the Zeke and Deion Sanders video. Make sure you guys go ahead and check that video out. Deion Sanders and Zeke gameplay. But, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, smack the like button. Subscribe me, comment. Once again, guys, remember, hashtag Zerk50K is going to be the, the uh, hashtag you guys want to use on Twitter. If you want to submit any questions to the 50,000 subscriber Q&A. If you guys want to see that Q&A a little bit quicker, make sure you guys go ahead and spread the word. 
Zerk's closing on 50k. Hit that man with a sub. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.